A lot of people say they don't have time for trading. But what if I can show you that there's a tool that can help you manage your trade setups with only spending a few minutes a day. Going from buying and holding requires you to get familiar with the trading terminal. In this video, I will show you how to get familiar with the Binance trading terminal. And I will also show you how you can manage your trades better by using a tool like All Trading. Now, let's say that you've identified the market that you want to trade in. When you have your enterprise determined, you have to manually fill in the order price and amount for each order you want to place. This can be very time consuming if you want to place more than one order. In All Trading, setting up an order is as easy as clicking a few buttons. You could click on a preset for a fast way to set up the size of the order and then all you have to do is drag the price to the desired level and then click on place order. Some trading strategies require to do dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging means that you will lower your average entry price to make sure that you can get out quicker with profits. You will have to manually set up a few orders with some space between them to keep buying as the price goes down. To place multiple entry orders and dollar cost average into the market, you will have to manually add them one by one. It's very repetitive and it can be error prone as you have no visual confirmation on the chart. When using a trading tool designed for traders, you can easily set up multiple entry orders using the ladder function. Simply set your start and end price and how many orders you want. The size will be divided over all the orders and if you want to have more control, you can switch over to the target settings. As you can see, this placed a lot of orders really fast. But as we're trading, we also want to set up take profit orders. To set up take profit orders on the exchange, you first have to wait for your order to be filled. This is required because you don't have access to the funds yet. Binance will not notify you of an executed trade unless you're sitting behind your computer. With Alltrady, you will receive a notification when your trade fills and you can set up your sell order. But in order to really save time, you can set up take profit orders together with your entry orders. Go over to the take profit section and you will be able to set up your take profit order. A take profit order will automatically be placed on the exchange as soon as the first entry order fills. As more entry orders fill, your take profit will be adjusted accordingly. Now it's a good practice to set up multiple take profit orders to maximize your gains. To set up multiple take profit orders on Binance, you will have to wait for entry orders to fill. Then you have to manually calculate the sizes for each order and then enter the data separately. Using the take profit function in Alltrady, you can quickly set up multiple take profit orders. You can set the prices in the chart and adjust the size percentages without calculating the actual size. You can even make the last target trailing. The trailing take profit orders will automatically follow the price up and only sell on a downward movement. When using multiple take profit orders, you can also specify to follow the average entry price. This will automatically lower your take profit price as soon as more entry orders fill. So now you have configured your entry and exit orders. But what about the stop loss? To make sure that you manage your risks, you need to be able to set up a stop loss order together with your take profit orders. Let's see how this is done on the exchange. To place a stop loss on the exchange, you first have to wait for your entry orders to fill. On Binance, you can use the OCO order to place a take profit order and stop loss order at the same time. But this is only for one take profit order. A much better way is to use the take profit and stop loss function from all trading. You can specify the take profit target and one stop loss at the time of placing your entry orders, allowing you to set up a full entry and exit in less than one minute. Now that you have your entries and exits defined, you can see that the position is automatically tracked for you. Now it's important to keep track of where your trades are executed to make sure that you stay in profit. Because how else would you know if you need to make adjustments to it or not? On Binance Spot Trading, profit calculation is up to the trader. You're effectively trading blind as you don't know exactly when to sell in profit. All you have is the information in the form of a closed order on the table. Profit and loss is usually tracked in Excel after manually copying the data. In Alltrady, executed trades are visible in the chart and running profit and loss calculations is done for you. You can quickly check the break even price to see where you can sell in profit. Positions with multiple entry orders and exit orders are calculated real time. As you can see, this saves you a lot of time, reduces mistakes and allows you to focus on the things that matter finding trading opportunities. Now, a lot of strategies will tell you to make sure that you find a specific set of markets to follow throughout the day. A great way to keep track of these markets is to create a watch list. Keeping track of watch lists on the exchanges is difficult. You can keep favorites, but that's about it. Many traders use external tools like TradingView to keep a watch list and do their charting. With Alltrady, you also have the advanced capabilities of a tool like TradingView 
and you can create watch lists. Easily browse through markets using the keyboard function and add them to your default watch list. Give your watch list names and select them at the same time to see them all in one nice overview. Even when you have your watch list created, it doesn't mean that every market is ready to be entered immediately. Setting up price alerts in advance allow you to wait for a specific moment and then reassess the market. Finance doesn't have the option to place price alerts, so you would have to use a tool like TradingView to be notified when a market reaches your desired price. Altrady also offers the ability to set price alerts. Simply right click in the chart for your desired alert price and wait for it to trigger. You will be notified via email, trading terminal or mobile phone, making sure you can't miss it. But sometimes price alerts aren't enough and you want to see if a price breaks through a trend line. Trendline traders heavily rely on alerts to enter the markets at the right time. Binance doesn't have the option to alert you for trendline breakouts and you will have to use a tool like TradingView. Altrady also has trendline alerts. Simply place your trendline in the chart and click on the bell icon. This will activate the trendline alert form and you can set more settings. For example, the expiration. Save the alert to be notified when the price breaks through your trendline. In this video, you have seen that using the right tool for the job can save you a lot of time. And it also ensures that you don't have to switch between tools or copy data between them, allowing you to see your stats in real time and reduce mistakes while copying data. If you're not convinced about our platform, then please have a look at our Trustpilot reviews to see how other traders find our platform. And also make sure that you use the 14 day free trial or use free paper trading to reduce any risk and make sure that you can get comfortable with the platform before you start trading with real money. If you want to learn more about the features from Altrady, then please make sure to check out the videos from our channel and also make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified on the next video.